let's start with this one. Um, like I said, with these critiques, there are no questions. It's just you upload a picture and I critique it. And I can see that this is what I call a blast over because you can see that it was another tattoo. You know, there's an, something else beneath it. Um, and I mean, to be a blast over, that is totally fine because that's what it is. And you can see that it's the so I wouldn't say this is this is not a cover up. This is a blast over. You know, you sort of like you just tattoo something over it and you don't care if if you can see anything beneath it. This is actually a blast over, uh, over my old tattoo. But I would say the eagle itself is really good. It's a traditional old school style. I, I like it. I love seeing it, uh, but I can't draw it myself. I uh, never, never really liked drawing that simple way in a way. I, I like copying realism, but very good like nice solid bold colors but personally I would wish because often when you're doing blast overs you have so many tattoos that you sort of like don't care anymore so you're just like yeah let's do a blast over I don't care if you see the old tattoo but your arm is not really that covered yet so I would sort of prefer to treat this as a more like a cover-up and fill out more of this you know the the stuff that is visible on the outside and I would fill up some more you see a lot of skin out um, you know uh, um, let's just I don't know I would sort of maybe do something more just in this area and here is it supposed to see you know are you supposed to see this bird I don't think so I would just do some other background there maybe some darker background so you don't you can't see that you know you have to do another color here like maybe dark black ground black ground and that could sort of fade up in this thing you know and they can blend together uh, here you can't have a dark black black ground because there's black in the it could be gray or it could be something else you know I just I just wish it was like more full in a way um, you thought it was a leg for a moment yeah it, yeah it's an it's an arm though but um, come on guys hit the thumbs up thank you Andy yes give me a thumbs up if you like this video so far or live stream um, okay just gonna go in here and when you when you send me photos of text and you want me to critique it I'm not sure what you want me to say because I will have to be honest but I, I'm also very polite and I would say if you like text and that's what you want and then you think this is a beautiful tattoo then I you know it doesn't matter what I think but I'm just gonna go in technically and say that uh, like this is sort of the reason why you should always go big or go home text is uh, let's say here if you see the future there hey you know you can see that this is sort of I think the F is like that but you know you can sort of see that it's it's already blended there's a lot of gray here you can see that all of this area is gray and that's gonna keep turning gray and smushing together I don't know how many years old this tattoo is um, but yeah text should be even bigger than this so I, I have a text myself on the on the back there I have a verse from Madonna's lucky star so and and it's it's the same on my back um, and I like text sometimes but I just think I love thinking a little bit more outside the box and this is very centered inside the safe box like I'm sorry but I think this is sort of more like a mainstream thing it's nice if you think it's nice and I think if it's your you know I, I haven't even read it um, but I think if this means something to you then it doesn't matter what I say or 
or think. But you're sending me photos. You want me to critique, so I will. This one, I was so happy when I saw this. I mean, look at this. It is so cute. Um, Bambi, and you have Winnie the Pooh, and you have the, uh, the cute cat, the kid from Aristocats. Oh, and then you have the, the, the from, isn't that from Super Mario? The, the mushroom thing? It's awesome. I mean, this is really, really cute. The drawing itself is really nice and, and sweet and cute. I can, of course, um, as a perfectionist, I can go in and say, mm, actually, the coloring could be more full. Uh, it sort of looks half finished. I wish it was more color. It looks like you have one more session to go with cool like uh, cooler colors cold colors blue turquoise purple because there's a lot of yellow orange and pink and peach um i don't know if it's your filter on the photo but you know it's it's a lot of warm colors and i miss that the coolest color here is that little green in the leaf i just wish it was more blue purple and teal or green in here especially blue because that would make it more like pastel kind of look blue purple pink those are like perfect for that disney princess kind of look so other than that the, the drawing itself is super cute um the linings here could be a little bit better and you can see I, I i i am a perfectionist but i do like the little glitter effect that they tried here they tried they made that could be even more you know it could uh exaggerate stuff like that the cool things bring more that's my suggestion okay uh should we do one more one more critique and then we can sort of finish off. Um, I'm just going to go for this one. Again, it's like, um, if you're sending me photos to critique, I'm going to be honest. Because I don't know who you are. and uh, <laughs> But it's so difficult because I'm a, I'm a polite woman that I, I don't want to sort of hurt anyone's feelings. But the thing is that this, this looks fresh. It looks like you actually did this uh, some just a few days ago, or maybe even a week ago. And I just ask, like, it, are there really people getting tribal tattoos these days? This is what I did like 19 years ago. I did this every day, especially in the lower back on girls with uh, low cleavage and arms on very muscled men and people are like coming in and like have you seen the movie from dusk till dawn i'm like oh no please not again so the tribals for me it's like a trendy thing that has been going on for years and i sort of never understood why for me my opinion about it was it's something the guys do to stand out without standing out at all so it's like they want to stand out and have something unique so they get a tribal like the most mainstream trend of all tattoo times so you you wanted my honest opinion and that's that's my honest opinion however i have seen tribal tattoos um I'm probably going to edit this in the clip to show you like awesome tribal tattoos if you if you like tribal or ornamental, which I call it as well, because then you have mandalas, that's an ornamental tattoo. Uh, and isn't that here? No, it's here. I have the filigree. That's ornamental because it's sort of abstract, but it's making a pattern. Sometimes it's, it's uh, symmetrical, sometimes not symmetrical, but just balanced, you know, using 
often S forms or C forms, you know. So my honest opinion is, is like, I, I really personally don't like tribals. Uh, and I'm very sorry, but I don't think uh, they did a good job either because if you're making tribals, you actually are supposed to make the edges like super sharp. Even here in this edge, you just, you align the needle outwards. So it actually, to make it like super crisp, it needed to go all the way here. Um, like this one. I mean, this is not supposed to be that shape. It was supposed to be this shape. But that's my perfectionism, you know. Uh, I don't understand the things here. Here it's been, you know, too close here, so they have emerged together. Um, I don't, yeah, this, um... Uh, this is a very freehand tribal tattoo from someone who don't have a lot of experience doing freehand tribal tattoos. <laughs> Sorry, but that's my honest opinion. <sighs> this is the Tat Chat with Electric Linda.